Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CAD Engineer. Today in this video, we are going to learn about how to create nut and bolt assembly by using coincident screw and limit mate option. We are also going to learn that how to create animation of nut and bolt assembly. Let's start how to do it. To start the assembly, we have to insert the components. For that, we'll go to insert component, browse, select the part one, open. Click. Again, we'll go to insert component, select the second component, open. Now we are going to assemble this both the components. For that, I'm going to apply coincident mate between axis to axis of nut and bolt. For that, we can enable temporary axis. Now we'll go to mate option. Here we are going to select standard mate and take a coincident mate. We select that nut axis and the bolt axis and OK. Now we can see this, this nut can move up and down here. I want this nut will be move over the threads. So for that, we have to apply a screw mate between them. So for that, we'll go to mechanical mate and take a screw mate here. We'll define the faces of the bolt and axis of the nut. We can reverse the direction of the moment. And here we can define either revolution per mm or distance per revolution. So we have made this nut and bolt so we know the pitches between them that is 1.5. So I'll define the distance per revolution as 1.5 and do OK. Now I want to limit this. If I move this, it can move completely over the part. Okay, It can go more than that also. And it can go more than uh, that distance outside also. So if we want to limit this uh, things, we can apply one more mate that is a limit mate. So let me show you if I see if I move that it will be going outside the part completely. To stop this uh, it not go more than that uh, total length, we can limit that. For that we will go to advanced mate and here we will take limit mate. So here we define maximum limit and minimum limit. So I know this uh, maximum length of the shaft is 40. So I will put the 40 distance. And this minimum distance, I want to stop at 5 distance, so I'll put it here 5. And we'll specify between the faces, we are defining a limit. I say this face and this face and do OK. So this is how I have limit also. Now if I move this further, it is not moving more than that, but it can go down here. So after the 40 length, it will also stop and not go more than that. Let's see. So if I'm moving it downward, more downward, you can see that. At after some distance, it will be stopped, it will not go outside that. So now it is continuously rotating at that point, but it do not go outside. It can go back, but it cannot go forward after the 40 distance. Now once we assemble it successfully, let's hide the temporary axis. Now I want to see the motion study. To make animation, we'll go to motion study. In the motion study, we can put a motor from here. And we'll select the circular face to apply a motor. Here we can specify the RPM speed, the constant speed. So I'll take 100 RPM and you can do OK. And here you can set the time for what time second you want to see the animation. And you can click calculate to the motion study. Once the motion study will be calculated, you can play that animation. So once it is calculated, you want to play it again, you can click on the play option and it will play the animation again. So this is how we have learned how we can create nut and bolt assembly and the animation. Thank you for watching this video.